Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be changing our Venus into a very unusual star-like object that is going to possibly hit up another object or maybe even terraform another world. Well, let's see what we can do in Universe Sandbox Square with our beautiful neighbor Venus. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now to start all of this, we're actually going to just start a regular solar simulation, solar system simulation, and go to the beautiful neighbor Venus, which is right here. Um, we're going to slow down time just a little bit because things will get out of control pretty quickly, and um, go into the properties. And here you actually have to disable this thingy right here called radius from composition. If you lock the mass at 66.2 masses of the moon, and if you start changing the radius, this will actually start increasing the density. Um, the original density is just a little bit lower than the density of Earth, but as soon as you reach density of about like 10, you'll notice that Venus starts exposing um, its surface. Its atmosphere actually starts thinning and you get to see what's on the surface of this planet. And that's because um, the atmospheric layer actually starts getting lower and lower closer to the surface because the uh, surface gravity is now double the surface gravity of Earth. And because of this, we can now actually see what's on the surface of this planet, which is very, very cool. But as you make this higher and higher, that is density, you will start realizing that the planet starts heating up really quickly. At 46 grams per centimeter cube, which is about maybe eight times higher than it used to be, uh, you'll notice that the temperature here is now close to about 760 degrees Celsius. And as you can probably imagine, the lower the radius, the higher the density, the more hotter and hotter it's going to get. And it actually transforms really, really beautifully, as you'll see in a second, changes very beautifully into what seems to be a star-like object. Now, technically, what we're actually turning this into is some sort of a very unusual and strange um, dwarf-like star, specifically a white dwarf. It's going to be an object with very high density, extremely high density, as a matter of fact, um, but it, uh, because it's actually an object that doesn't really have oxygen and carbon on the inside like a white dwarf, because most white dwarfs they usually contain oxygen and carbon. This is not a true white dwarf. This is a white dwarf that is going to be made up of mostly silicate and iron. So maybe somewhere out there there is actually a white dwarf just like that, but we haven't really seen any just yet. Uh, so at the size of about a few kilometers, you'll notice that the temperature becomes ridiculously high. It's already higher than the sun. 7,000 degrees Celsius. We're going to go down to about one kilometer radius, which is just uh, a little bit bigger than like a smaller city on our planet Earth. And you'll notice that the temperature now is 35,000 degrees Celsius. This is actually what a white dwarf would probably be like. This is a much smaller white dwarf. This is actually a tiny white dwarf. As a matter of fact, we've never seen a white dwarf of such a small mass. It technically should not exist. The smallest white dwarf we've, we've ever seen was about 0.17 masses of the sun. This one here is like 0.00000245 masses of the sun. So this is theoretically not likely to happen. But we've created this in Universe Sandbox and what we're going to do now is let's place an object around it and basically let's see if we can maybe terraform it. Or that is, let's actually place Earth here and see if we can maintain the um, Terra-like environment on our Earth, assuming that the Sun is no longer there. So let's actually just erase the Sun. So as you can see, Venus is now the central star in the system. It's very, very bright, but it's extremely tiny. It's super, super small. It's only like one kilometer in radius. If I go to Earth now, you'll notice that the temperature is, seems to be re really comfortable. Okay, maybe not so comfortable. 18 degrees and climbing. Now, in the game, the way that this actually simulates um, the emissions and um, the so-called 
radiative power that the uh, object receives from different stars um, can actually be a little bit buggy. So I believe that our Earth will start getting warm, warmer and warmer and at some point might actually become a little bit too hot. If I were to place Venus at a distance of about, let's say, 25,000 kilometers, which is just um, sort of close to the geocentric orbit around Earth, you will notice that, um, well, first of all, oh, it's going to be always the same side that's going to be receiving the radiation, but it's also very likely is going to make Earth a little bit more comfortable. So right now it's sort of close to about 20 degrees Celsius, it's going to go up and down a little bit, uh, so stabilizing the temperature using this particular system is not particularly easy, but it is possible. As a matter of fact, if you play around with this long enough and if you change the density a little bit more, increase the temperature a little bit more, it's very, very possible for you to create a perfectly functional terraformed or terraformable uh, dual system, dual planetary system of Venus and Earth with Venus essentially being the star and Earth being the receiver of such radiation. But you can kind of see that the temperature does jump a lot. It's a little bit unstable, so it will be very, very difficult for any life to survive here. And one of the reasons for why life will not be able to survive here is because if this is actually a white dwarf, if Venus right here is a white dwarf, the chances of this releasing tremendous amount of X-rays and other super highly um, radiative power is very high. So, like, if you were to, let's well, just stand on the surface of our Earth for a second. If you were to stand on the surface right here and you were to look up into the skies and look at the Venus, the star, which is right there, what you would realize is that, well, first of all, you'll probably be getting tremendous amounts of super dangerous radiation. And also, I don't even see it anywhere. Somewhere right there, right? Oh yeah, there it is. So you would be receiving tremendous amounts of dangerous radiation and you would also very likely probably be um, dying from all of this radiation that this tiny object is sending toward the surface of our planet. But even though it's so tiny, it's going to be enough to basically warm up our planet and make it uh, kind of relatively habitable, at least uh, under thick surface um, layers of water. So the uh, the life underneath the water layer, basically the ocean life that lives deep in the ocean will be fine. Everything on the surface will probably die. But anyway, so that's essentially how you can turn our beautiful planet Earth into a habitable world with Venus as a star orbiting around it. And you can kind of see it's really tiny right there. Or, in other words, this is how you can turn Venus into a star. A white dwarf-like star that is much less massive than most white dwarfs and contains carbon and silica... Uh, sorry, not carbon, but contains iron and silicates instead of carbon and oxygen. And I believe if I run this long enough, it actually destabilizes the system and burns our Earth to the crisp. Yep, there you go. Earth is now going to get hotter and hotter and eventually everything on the surface of Earth will probably die. Yep, there you go. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to do in this video, and hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something from this. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys watching these videos, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye. Now, one of the reasons why Earth actually got hot so fast is also because this tiny dense Venus is creating tremendous tidal heating effects on the surface of our planet. And because of these tidal effects, Earth got super toasty. Anyway, space out, bye-bye.